Hello, darlings. Happy Tuesday to all of you. And welcome to Let's Build the World. And welcome to part two of the Boutique Batiste. We are cracking on with more exterior work today. I think we're going to concentrate on the back garden area today. Um, I had loads of good ideas from you guys from last time about maybe making this back garden where she maybe shoots her collections. I liked that vibe. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that. Yes, we are indeed. Um, but yeah, thank you for your wonderful comments. Um, all last week, I very much appreciate you. I'm still feeling precious. Um, I'm old. I went out on Saturday to my friend's garden party. And um, I didn't get home until four in the morning. <laughs> Dirty stop out. And I'm still feeling, <laughs> still feeling bad now. And it's Tuesday. I can't do it anymore. I'm far too old. That's why I've got glasses on today. My hair looks like a fucking mess. I don't give a shit. We're just going to crack on and we're going to enjoy ourselves. And we're going to do a bit of building in The Sims today. Yes, we are indeed. So, yes, without further ado, let's flop on over and we're going to start building. Okay, my darlings, back at the Batiste Boutique. We are here today. A few little things have changed from last time. Put up some balconies on the top level there. Gorgeous, stunning, stunning, stunning. I've also changed out the fence at the top. One of you guys said, why don't you use like the vampire debug fence? So I did that. Had to lift that up with the nine key. Wasn't fun. Um, but it looks nice. I like it. I've also managed to make everything very symmetrical now. I know there was lots of things off and there were so many people in the comments shitting their knickers because of how many things were off. But don't worry. Did you just hear that click then? That was my toe. That was my toe. I think it just fell off on the floor, actually. Uh, anyway, so trees. We've put trees up the front here. A little rug coming in here. I've also put some mannequins in the windows. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sold on the interior just yet. I'm not sold on the interior, how the interior is laid out. This is obviously going to be the main shop area. Um, yes, with mannequins looking out the window. I know you're only allowed like 10 manneke mannequins per retail shop, so I need to be careful. And then I think this is going to be another bit of retail space here. Really lovely little dressing room with some... Um, changing rooms over here as well and then this little entrance here goes up into where i want to put betsy's like photography studio oh oh you're not supposed to be there darling um where i want to put betsy's photography studio and kind of private like dressing room where she will have very exclusive clients trying on clothes and stuff so that is what this is going to be it's going to be a kind of studio slash everything up here to be honest with you um and that is the vibe that is the vibe that we're going to go for today yes we are now i i've got a new keyboard and mouse at the minute because mine were so old and um i'm getting to grips with it so if you notice me like derping out a bit with the movements and stuff and looking down all the time it's because i just i feel like i've got a foreign instrument in my hands and i'm not for oh that sounds filth that does sound filth but you know what is new with this channel, isn't it, to be honest? Yes, yes, it is. See, I'm like this, like looking over my mic to see what I'm pressing. It just doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like home. I can't take that right to there, can I? No, but I can. My thoughts were, I don't know if this is going to work. And we can use the whole garden as well. I'll just put tiles around there to kind of hide that. Um, We're going to test this out. <gasps> Testicles. Sorry, my um, I I just heard myself breathing in um, with that testy clay, that testy clay announcement coming through there. Um, and then putting like a hedge on top of it. And what I mean by hedge is the what the planter ones. Do you know what ones I mean? The ones that came. I can't even remember what pack they came with. Um, these ones here. Like it's not it's not even tall, is it really though? Well, I'm gonna lift the I'm gonna lift the platform up. I'm gonna lift the platform up and maybe use these. All the way along. I think this might look okay. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully is the operative word. Now let's see how far we can get this to go up. Let me see. Oh, I quite like it. Especially when I put like some fencing at the bottom here. Or some wood, if you know what I mean. Um, I think that could be quite cute. Rather than using a big tall fence. I tried, I trialed a few and then I tried like a wall and stuff. And I was just like, do you know what? It's not working for me. It's not giving me the vibe and I'm not for it. So I'm going to get rid of you. Where's the smaller version of you, darling? Where are you? There you are. 
Um, if I can, oh no, that's not even the, if I, can I overlap them? I mean, there's not glitching out too bad. That's fine. Uh, and then do the same here as well. Have I not got quarter tile placement on? I haven't. I'm disgusted at myself. How very damn me. How are you all doing? How was your weekend? Mine was great. It was so, so lovely to spend some time with friends. It felt like it flew by this weekend, mainly because the Sunday I was in no fit state to human. Um, so I didn't. I just flopped myself on. I got up straight away and I was like, I feel like I'm dying. <laughs> so I'm going to go and have a shower. I went and had a shower. No matter how bad you're feeling, if you've drunk too much alcohol, just get up and have a shower straight away. It will make you feel at least 70% better for a limited amount of time. Main reasons being I usually start flagging around like four o'clock in the afternoon after a night out. <laughs> and I'm like on the sofa like, ah, why did I do this? <laughs> and the answer to that is because I just wanted to hang out with my friends. I haven't seen them in months and it was so lovely. It was so lovely to spend some time with them. It really, really was. Now that's not equal on that side. So I may have to pull this one out here and put it down there. That would be right then, wouldn't it? Yes. Yes, it will indeed. But yeah, it was so lovely. But my God, getting home at that time. Awful. I haven't done that in many a year. Um, Come here. Now, what am, what am I going to... Excuse you. What am I going to do with that, though? You know? What am I going to do there? <sighs> I could just wall that area in again and put some hedges there. Or like some rough... Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. I'm going to... The weird thing is, though, it's going to look weird just having a wall there. Because there's no kind of, like, under pass like this area's got. So maybe I'll put a gate there or something. I don't know. I don't know. I just thought this would have been cute. And I like it. I like how it looks from here. Especially because I can kind of visualize what we're going to be able to do underneath on this bit. Uh, I was thinking, like, this. But then using, like, maybe something like that. That looks nice, but isn't there like a horizontal one rather than a vertical wooden bit? Oh, hang on. Je ne sais quoi there. Is there not? I thought there was. I'm so confused. Maybe there... Oh, there... Why would you do that? Oh, there we go. That's what I was thinking. Oh, so it's got horizontal and vertical... I kind of prefer that one now. I've put this one up against it anyway. I don't know why. I might move them right to the edge. Right to the edge. Oh, no. I'm going to have to do that manually, aren't I? Let me see. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do that. I am going to do that. And then on this side, we could put soil and put loads of plants on those as well. So they look like big planters. <sighs> I'm for it. I'm for it. So just give me two seconds while I do this because it's going to be tedious. There. There. Yeah, it looks good. And what I did as well, I've reduced the size of the garden down so we don't have that like weird connection here. Now, I did want to carry this on down here, but the only problem with that being darlings, is this is a foundation and the foundation doesn't connect with this here. So what I'm going to do here is just have a nice tree line instead. I'm just going to do a nice tree line there, love, rather than having a pathway going down there. It's fine. It's fine. It works. I'm for it. That's what we're going to do. So... This is the, um, I don't know if I want to necessarily make it look like that customers can come out here. They can, I would imagine, like, Betsy would be fine with that, to be honest with you. But, um, yeah, do you know what? I forget I even said anything. Anybody can go out there if they want. It's gardens that are featured in all, like, Vogue and, right, oh god, no, that's pay job, darling. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to change the swatches. <gasps> No. Oh my, I've just realized my new keyboard does not have the plus and minus keys. The swatches. I'm going to write a complaint. <laughs> oh, that's, that is very, very bad. Oh no. Oh, well, that is something I'm going to have to get accustomed to because this keyboard's too nice. It's very tiny. Do you want to see it? Look. Look how tiny it is. It's wireless as well, which is great. But I did not realise that that was a thing and I'm very fuming about it, to be honest. <gasps> oh, well. 
Well, now you know when I'm not cycling through swatches fast enough. Because I can't. It is not a thing. It is not a thing and it is not I can't. <gasps> well, there we go. There's the drama for today, loves. There is the drama for today. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Somebody alert the church elders immediately. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> alert the church elders immediately. Aiden does not have plus and minus keys on his keyboard anymore. <laughs> oh, the stories. <laughs> No, Aiden, just shush. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. You just gotta work with something new, haven't you? You know? It's not hard to just go and get the swatch up. What's maybe I should learn the hotkey for it. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. So my thoughts were I kind of wanted this to like have areas where they could have photos and stuff taken. So lots of greenery up on these, like leafy numbers would be really nice. Maybe even down, ooh, maybe back here we could do like a triple moment of this. Will that go up to the same height there? No, it won't. Okay. Um, Like, let me see that. Is that going to be a bit too, yeah, that needs to come down one more. Yeah, like that. So you can have like a little tiered moment going back here, all the way along to there. Uh, stunning. And then the same obviously with that and this as well you know yes that could be a moment yeah i'm for that okay oh i'm a, i'm a bass so weird so weird why did i not even think about that <laughs> when i when i was looking for a new keyboard i just thought it was white pretty wireless as for it okay i need a little think see where we're gonna go here okay so i've had a thought i've had a thought about making each kind of corner of the garden a little bit of a different biome shall we say so maybe for different collections and i'm going to leave enough space in the middle that you could place a camera and take a photo in front of each corner if you know what i mean so over here i want to do a bit more of a classic looking english garden vibe with lots of statues and stuff like that i've also put a privacy wall in front of the door just in case they're taking photos of very secret collections that they don't want to be photographed this side here i want to do a bit more of a foresty scene so maybe like some trees and stuff up there too um with some ivy and just nice greenery vibes this one here i want to go for a bit more of a tropical theme with some more tropical looking plants. And then on this corner here, I want to do a bit more of like a wild looking meadow kind of theme with that. What do you think about that? I kind of like it. I'm kind of here for it. And now what I've now that I'm like thought about doing that, I'm gonna get rid of that there. I'm gonna get rid of that little bit there. So we've got enough room down here now to be able to like sort of just mark it in. And I think we'll do that roughly with just by putting down a fence at the minute and separating the garden off into as equal as we possibly can that's not equal um that should be okay for the minute just so i can get a vibe coming through with all of these yeah there we go that's <laughs> that is not equal in the slightest but that's as equal as we're going to get and it'll just give me a basic idea i don't worry i'll get rid of them once we've actually done this so first off we'll start on this like little wild meadow area over here so I reckon this could be the spring collection, you know, florals for spring. Groundbreaking. I think we'll do that. I think we'll do that over this side. So I'm going to lay a few of these around like here. Still going to need enough space for the Sims to be able to get through as well. So I obviously can't put any more there. But what I will do is just leave a nice little pathway and also make sure to remember to leave enough space in front of it so i can put like a tripod down there and enough space for a sim to come on a stand and take some photos and whatnot oh i'm for that idea really am so i'm gonna layer up these two here now as well um i think that could be quite good will it be effective who knows but we're gonna test it anyway today testicles indeed that's what we're going to do i'm still absolutely fuming that i can't um <laughs> can use your plus and minus keys I didn't feel like I explained that well enough as well. My new keyboard doesn't have like a numpad on it. It doesn't have a number pad on it. And I was like, oh, that's a good idea. Like less space on the, um, on my desk and whatnot. And then realizing, yes, there we are. That's, that would be, um, why you don't have a plus and minus key anymore than Aiden. Yes, that is the reason. <laughs> Can I have these bluebells? Thank you. Oh, I'm noticing the bluebells out as well. When I went on my bike ride the other day. 
bluebells were everywhere. They're my favourite flower. I absolutely love a bluebell. Love a bluebell. Really do. Um, yeah, all the way along like that. And let's put these bigger ones towards the back edge. Um, and I'll just meander them around a little bit. Shrink some down in size as well. Shrink them down in size. And place them all the way around there as well. Obviously, you still need to grab a few into the front. So let's make these a bit more apparent around here. Lovely, lovely. I think this would be a really cool idea. I think this would be a really cool idea. And then you've got these like four different kind of separate looks for the back of your campaigns and photos and stuff. Uh, and once this is done, I'll test some out as well. I'll test some pictures out and see what they look like. Uh, yeah, no, that's looking pretty nice. That is looking... And then I've got enough space in this middle area here to be able to um, get a camera and whatnot in there. It's making me want to climb some ivy up the walls as well. So I think I'm going to do that just towards the back. Let's tech search for ivy. And then I'm going to place them just up the walls. Do I want to use like this? Uh, I don't know. No, no, I don't. I think I'm just going to go for the actual university ivy in the background. Oh, maybe some flowers actually on this one. Considering it's a springtime vibe, maybe we should go for some flowers towards the back here. I'll go with yellow, though, because we've gone for, like, a yellow vibe. Right, R. Oh, no, I can't even do that. <laughs> oh, God. There's a big fail for you, but I... You know, you've just got to work with what you've got sometimes, haven't you? You've just got to work with what you've got. And um, it might take me a while to get used to the fact that I cannot cycle through my swatches fast anymore. But, hey-ho. We'll get it done. Don't you worry. Now I need some flowers. I need some flowers and I need them in yellow. Um, Can I like... No, I can't text search for... I say I can. I can text search for colours. So let me find some yellow flowers around here. I want a few more pops of yellow. I want to do some more... Um, No, they look too... Oh, here we go. Irises. Oh, perfect. Um, Yeah, those other ones look too like kind of gardeny. Like they've been planted on purpose. Not a natural state of affairs. You could say. Oh, nice. Let's just fill in a lot of these little gaps here. And I'm going to do like some on these little bits up here as well. Um, Some bigger cut, some bigger flowers and stuff up here too. So it might look a bit weird for the minute. Um, platforms are shite to be able to put anything on top of them. But um, I'm going to try. I'm going to trial it. I am. What are you? Oh, you would do really well up there. Yes, we'll plunk the plunk. We'll plonk these all the way along for the springtime vibe. The trouble could be kind of summer. Um, this could be winter, maybe a winter collection. And this can be autumn. Oh, yes, we'll make this autumn. So it's kind of seasonal. Seasonal collections of guard garden. <laughs> um, that is the mantra, and I'm sticking to it, darlings. Yes, I am. Right, okay. And then you come around here too. Sunflowers. Tend to all face the same way, really. Um, I've never grown... I've only grown sunflowers when I was young, like in my parents' garden. I've never grown any in um, my own garden. I don't know why. Is anybody else? Do you grow sunflowers? I'd be interested to know. I really would. Oh, that would look cute. It would look cute. Oh, I'm for it. Do we want to put any up on here? I think so. And I'm going to try and put some grass up here as well. Um... Yeah, that looks cute, actually. I'm going to try and put some grass up on this level, too. I uh, probably have to shrink it down quite a bit. But what I'll do is use these big ones first. They're not going to go up there, are you? Oh, God. Work with me today. Come on. There we go. I can shrink them through, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. And I'll shrink them through there. Excuse you. Go on. Get in there. Lovely. Ah! Uh, uh, for it. There. Can I? Come on. Come on, work with me. Work with me, Sheila. Right, and they're not there as well. Come on, just go up there. When I want you to go up there, you fucking don't. Oh, piss off. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you see what I mean? If, like, you were, say you were in, like, front of this, the photo would be great. Uh, for it. Very much for it. I do need to do some terrain painting around there as well, but we'll make a start. On the tropical area, so the summer vibes. Um... Do I want to get some water in here? No, no, no. That's just thinking too far ahead, Aiden. Absolutely not. I do need to get some jungle adventure 
um, plants out. So give me a sec. So Jungle Adventure already had like a pre-built one. So I have to choose that. <laughs> I've cheated. I have. I've cheated. I've cheated and I'm not ashamed to say that. So that's what I've done there. Yes, I have indeed. Now I'm going to pop these up here, hopefully, if I can get there. Um, let me... No, no, see? See, as soon as I wanted to fucking work, it doesn't work, does it? No. Um, I don't know how high that is. I don't know where it is. I'm going to stick it in the corner there, I think. Let's have a look at that. Oh, for it. Okay. Right, now let's meander the ones that I haven't pr put in properly. And I'm going to put a few of these around as well. So this can be like the summer collection, the tropical vibes. You need to go at the back there, love. Oh, for it. And then you can go on this kind of vibe here. You can come to the forefront a little bit. I'll probably need another one of you, darling. And I'm going to flop a couple more of these in as well. Because I love these plants. These are from... Are they from Eco Lifestyle? I think they're from Eco Lifestyle. Uh, are they? No, they're not. They're from um, Island Living. Sorry. I don't know why I thought Eco Lifestyle. But, you know. Potato, potato and all that. Potato, potato indeed. To be honest. And that is the vibe that we're all going to fucking be here for today. Because... I'm still hungover from Saturday. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and, um, that's it. That's just it. That is just it. Oh, these could be for the autumn. Oh, I thought they were the, the autumn leaf piles. They're not. They're little bits of dirt. Well, I don't want them. I want the autumn leaf piles. Um, oh, I like these flowers, but I don't think they're going to be a vibe for any of them. No, they're not. Definitely not. Oh, if I remember rightly... They've got some ivy, actually, with, um, like, red bits on. So that might look nice for the autumn vibe that we're going to do there. <gasps> oh, I'm for it. Oh, I forget about this plant here as well. Um, from the Realm of Magic. That's such a lovely plant. I should remember to use that. Because that would look great in so many builds. And I always bloody forget it. Oh, I'm for it. Yes. Yes, I'm feeling that vibe. And I think what we've done here, we'll need to do it back here, but probably using like the smaller kind of like what they called, what they called like aloe vera looking plants or these ones, the cacti. I think we could probably put a few of them around as well at the top here. M maybe not all in formation. I don't want it to look too kind of like copy copied, if you know what I mean. Um... Um, what else can I put up there? Oh, we'll use these up here. We're going to use these ones, which are from Jungle Adventure as well, I think. Jungle Adventure? Jungle Adventure? <gasps> it's an adventure, and it's in the jungle. It's a jungle adventure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm in a weird mood. I'm in a weird mood because I'm just surviving today. <laughs> oh, I don't, I, don't, I don't know how the hell I used to do it when I was younger, like going out three or four nights a week. Like, not, not not the vibe. It's even bought a cold on, you know? Because your body's just been stripped of all its nutrients. <laughs> because you've just been hitting the gin a little bit too hard, darling. And um, I used to do it, I used to go out three to four nights a week when I was young. Oh, I couldn't think of anything worse now. Could not. Oh, no, you clipping shit. You clipping shit? Yes, okay. You clippity shit. Right, and I'm going to need to meander these around. I don't mind if there's a few bits poking out. I do. I actually do. It's going to make me cry and it'll probably make a few of you cry. So I will make sure to sort that. Don't you worry. Oh, they're all coming out here. They're all coming out here. I might even have to hide that with a hedge. <laughs> no, I won't. I can't. I cannot. Yes. The only thing that pisses me off is this big pointy bit poking out here. But we can't be too fussy, loves. We cannot be too fussy. Now, let me see this. Yes, but I still want some flowers up there. So, oh, there they are. I was just about to say, where are the jungle adventure flowers? Um, What's this one? Oh, that's yellow. Oh, that's quite a good vibe, actually. Not that big, though. I want to put one of you, like, around, say, I want to be able to see the flowers, like, there. One more over there, but maybe if I use it in the other colour... Flop you down a bit low there. Let me see this. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I still think it needs some low-lying something on the floor here. 
Um, oh, these. I forgot about these. So let's uh, size these down and plonk a few of these across as well. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now that does come out a little bit too far for me, this bit here. But I'm just going to go with it. Going to go with the vibe. But yeah, I kind of like this idea of this garden just being a bit wild for photo shoots. I just need to remember to leave enough space in the middle here. And we will. I will leave enough space here. I'll probably make this more of like a seating area looking one. Um, which will push everything a bit back a bit further along. So this one would be a bit more polished with um, plants in um, plant pots and stuff. Whereas these three here, just a little bit more wild. And I'm for it. I really am. Right, okay. Um, I'm not feeling these anymore now that this is going to be a bit more of an autumn vibe. So I'm going to pull out loads of autumn -y looking things. So give me two biscuits. Okay, on to the autumn -y vibe. So I pulled out this tree here from Island Living. It's not exactly autumn leaves. But my thoughts were maybe they need a tree that will last in the summer. Even because they've got a shoot. They have like autumn collection there. And the leaves are not going to be changed. Because it could be July, you know, for all we know. So that is the vibe that we're going to go for today. Yes, we are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flop this dead ass looking grass around everywhere, I think. I think this one here would probably do well up here too, if I can make it go up there. I think I might need to shrink it down. Um, oh, it's going to bloody snap to something, isn't it? Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> Oh no, it's going to be snapping to all sorts. Um, that's not too bad. I know it's hanging off, but shush. You will not be able to see that in the photos. And that is all that matters, my loves. Yes, it is indeed. Right, and then I'm going to do the same on this side if it will allow me. And it won't because Sims. Um, oh, come on. Let me grab you. That sounds weird. Um, come here. Please don't fuss with me today. Don't fuss with me. Just work. Work how I want you to work. And they're all going to be slightly hung. Oh, God, that's floating. Uh, get up. Up you go. Right, I think it's there. There we are. There we go. That's better. Okay. Yes. That's the vibe. I'm going to move you in a little bit tighter over there, darling. You're about there. That's nice. I like all of this poking through here as well. And I've bought some candles and some pumpkins. I don't want it to look too kitschy i do want it to have a nice classy moment of autumn i don't want it to look massively kitschy really so i am going to use a couple of hay bales um and i'm going to turn another one in on that direction there i think and then i'm going to place these little candle moments over by the pumpkins like so a couple there and yes next to hay bales i know it's not um, health and safety when you're putting flames near a hay bale but maybe they are LED candles from Lidl you know we can't be one to judge really yeah I think that would still look nice in the photos I think it would you know you're getting that kind of autumn vibe I still think I need to layer up this area a little bit more with some things so maybe I'll pull out a few more objects there we are I think that looks nice yeah I'm here for that okay yeah, cook. Okay, we're going to move on to the classic collection. So this is probably your more winter collection. Not necessarily have to be winter, really. But it just it's just got a bit more of a classic vibe to it that we're all going to be here for. Um, and I'm thinking about adding in a really lovely bench area out here. Could I? I could even use that like stone bench. This one here. I could use this stone bench in that tone there as well. Oh, I think what I want to do is add in that kind of like canopy over it as well. Let me find that. There she is. That, you know, that like, I don't know what you would call these. What what do you call it, Sims? Probably something stupid. The folly. Yeah, well, it's not that, is it? Um, I don't know what you call them. I don't know what you call them. And I'm not too interested either. So you don't even need, need to let me know in the comments below. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I love you lot, really. I'm joking. If you want to let me know, darlings, you can bloody let me know. I do not mind at all. Right. And then I'm going to put a... Stop it. Don't you dare float. Well, you don't really need to go in further than that anyway. And I'm thinking... 
because we've already got that beautiful lady there, why don't we try and hide that other one with this man? Um, I reckon we could trial and do it. I mean, you can still kind of see her, but I'm going to do it anyway. Let me just see. Yeah. Just looks like he's got a new a headpiece on or something, doesn't it? Oh! Yeah, I'm kind of for that. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of for that. That's pretty. But I still think that we need some, like, ivy on the floor. Let me see where this ivy is. The ground ivy. I still feel like we need to put some kind of, like, floor bits on. What about you? Oh, that could work, actually. And then they would be able to come up and sit on that bench area as well. Which will be great. That would be great. Did I put one up there? Then no, I didn't. I uh, still need to terrain paint the hell out of this as well. So don't pay attention to it too much. I'm probably going to do that a bit off of camera. Um, and then you guys can kind of see the finished product. Because we've spent all of our times on this cup. But that's cute. I think this is going to be a good vibe. And I still might sort this out. I may actually do my own garden. Just so it doesn't like poke out a bit too far there. So before we go today. I am going to terrain paint all of this so if i can just get rid of this fence all the way along there please thank you very much bye and the same with you and i'm thinking like a really lovely um just stone stone all the way through don't know what we're going to do there just yet we'll probably figure that out for tomorrow's part because tomorrow we're going to start on the interior of this definitely start on the interior um so let's get a nice stone i think it needs to be more along the lines of like that kind of like you know what i mean i think that would look really nice out here actually so let's do that so what i want is a nice pathway all the way from there um i do want it underneath of this part here as well actually because this just i think it would suit that kind of like garden look you know i'm gonna put some candles and stuff over here too I'm going to put some candles around on this part here. But again, I'll probably do that off camera. I just can't believe how fast this bit's gone today. So it's probably going to be quite a long bit. And I have not hardly done anything. I don't know. It might not be. Right. And then to there. All the way along to there, darling. Um, Again, I'm probably going to be getting rid of that. So I'm going to just mark that all the way around. All the way to this. Love this terrain paint. I absolutely love this terrain paint. I think it's so nice. Um, I'd love to see more stuff like this. I really would. Just a new terrain paint in itself, to be honest with you. We haven't had one in a hot titty bloody minute, I tell you. Yes. Okay. Earth-wise, we're probably going to have to change the colour of the earth depending on what season we're in. So maybe we'll go slightly darker for the summer. All the way around to there. Lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. A little bit lighter for the autumn. Stunning, stunning, stunning. All the way around there as well. Let me get that vibe coming through. Yeah, I think that would be a good shot. I think that would be a good shot. And then you've got all this space to be able to put the camera, the tripod in front of whatever season the collection is in. Oh, for that idea, darlings. Absolutely for that idea. Really am. It's going to be weird to try and take a photo of this for the thumbnail today. You could probably, guys, are probably just going to see a plant. <laughs> like, that's not a chateau. It's not a chateau. A boutique, Aiden. That is a plant. And to that, I would say, yes. Yes, it is. Um, yeah. I still want to add some more details in here. I really want to add some more details in here. Definitely want to sort this area out. That's not looking right to me now. But I will sort that out. And make my own version of like this big collection here, if you know what I mean. But um, we'll do that another day. But yeah, we are done for today. Um, so we've got the back garden done. Really loved your guy. There was a few of you that mentioned doing this, like just having a really nice garden. And I thought, do you know what? Why don't we make each corner into a separate kind of like um season so we can have some photos taken in front of them. Oh, I definitely want to put some candles around here. I think it would look lovely. But um, yeah, we're done for today. There we go, my darlings. Thank you so much for coming today. I appreciate you. Get some lovely comments in the comment box below. We're going to be back tomorrow with this. We'll crack on with the interior a little bit more. I will make sure to do a bit of work off of camera on the garden, chuck some more details in, and I'll show you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go and rest my old hungover body. 
I absolutely adore you all. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.